What the? This is spooky. Behold, my pretties, destiny in its most brutal form. All the dreams that might have been, all the happiness and sorrow you might have experienced. Gone forever. For you, there will be no tomorrow. The Dark Omen transcends time and space, waiting for Lavos to awaken. Destiny has led you here, and here you shall rest forever, unless you can defeat me and smash the omen. Okay, but like... If the Black Omen transcends time, then why would it have to wait for Lavos? Lavos is... it transcends time, and you could just... just go do the thing. Come, dear friends, perhaps I can persuade Lavos to share his dreams with you. Did I say dreams? I meant his eternal nightmare! Ow! Can you not do the thing you just did? I should use Dino Tail, because my HP is at 1. Oh, the damage! <laughs> That's the damage. I knew Ayla would come in in the clutch. See, I knew it. I knew she was worth it. Yes. Ah, my powers didn't seem don't seem to work here. Wait, I'll simply toss you into the mammon machine. You'll be one with the omen, Lavos and me. Make sure you say your ideas out loud. Uh our HP is one. So that's not very cool. Attack used to increase defense. <laughs> Did she just bark? Yeah. You know. Barks and stuff. Magic becomes attack power, attack up. So when I attack him, he gets more defense, and when I magic attack him, he gets more attack. But how long can he survive my onslaught? Because I'm doing quite a bit of damage. I was expecting far worse.
It's confusing that full ethers aren't actually full ethers, they just do 60. Hyper ethers are full ethers. Point Flare. Let's try Final Kick, even though he has a lot of defense now. I don't think it's going to work very well. Oh my god, it worked well. <laughs> I lied. It worked very well. Twin Charm. Oh, nope, nope. By God, he's broken in half! Yeah, uh, you know. We do a little bit of damage. Oh, that was spooky. going on you cretins I plan to live with Lavos and control the universe forever you will not get in my way indulge in such regrets in the next life oh god she's a head how'd I know it was a head all along it's always a head Man, they really like those health shaver attacks in this game. It's like their favorite thing to do. Uh oh, that's not good. Yeah, this is rough. She has a lot of attacks. Ow. She has so much- she has like- her two hands and her head, so she's just spamming attacks. Power Rangers boss fight. Just let me get Marley back to health. Okay. Oh, uh, that's not good. Chrono's mad! I don't know if I can kill these hands. They take like no damage. And if I hit them, the one puts my health to one and the other one puts my MP to zero. So, you know. That's cool. Not exactly what you want. Seems like I need to just not hit the hands. Like, hitting the hands is a no-go. 
but I'm going to try physically attacking the hands and see if it makes a difference. Because magic definitely doesn't do anything. Nope. Alright, the hands are a no-go. Do not attack the hands. That is what we've learned. If you kill Marley, I'm going to be real upset. Oh my god. She was just about to heal herself. Now I'm, now I'm in deep trouble. Because I need to revive Marley and have her not take damage. Don't attack Marley. Actually, I'm so freaking fast that I can basically just throw a tonic on her right away. <laughs> Chrono is so fast! My god. What is he? Is he Sonic? I think I made Sonic. Alright. Here's what we do. We just spam attack with Chrono. He gets so many turns and does so much damage that this fight's gonna be over before we even know it. How dare you put our life at one? How could you do that? Good thing I used life too. Don't you dare kill Marley. Great. No! I need that. No! Wow. Dude, this fight is a jerk. This fight is an actual jerk. If you put us all at 1 HP and then, like, attack a lot. Like, it barely would have mattered what I did. Okay, just don't attack Marley, please. Thank God. I got so lucky that they attacked Ayla twice. Wait, the head is dead. What? Oh wait, never mind. I don't know why, it wouldn't let me attack the head for a second. I was like, how could the head be dead, but I'm still fighting it. Did I... For some reason, it's like not always letting me attack the head. I'm not sure why. Great, Chrono's dead. <laughs> I was trying to attack the head. What sucks is if you put in an action to like heal Chrono and then he dies, it just cancels your action and you have to wait for your ATB to come back. I should have thrown something better than a regular tonic.
Alright. Time for... Stuff. It's time for spin cut. Can I attack the head, please? There we go. Oh. Not dark gear. Targeting the head. Man, she's got some health. I did it! How dare you insects come after me! Oh almighty Lavos, lend me your power! Mwahaha! At last, Lavos awakens! Compared with him, you are like germs, but I, I shall obtain immortality. Uh, rip us. And it's your boy Lavos, back at it again, for the ninth time. So now we're just fighting Lavos, like before. Lavos Center's attack mode! Oh god, here we go. Oh, I guess we can walk around. Can I save? No. Here's the shelter. So, that's interesting. It's almost like the Black Omen part was kind of just an extra, and then I just have to fight Lavos anyways. I wonder how much different it would be if I just went to the bucket and fought him. Would it just be this, but without the Black Omen part? And at that point, like, uh, you know, is, it, is the ending different? Guess we'll find out. All this music. Super good music. So I think if this is like it was before, then these enemies are actually pretty weak. Because it's based on like the bosses you fought.
Oh, and it gives me time to heal after, like, each one. God, this gives me, like, Wild Arms 3 feels. Where, like, there were so many bosses. <laughs> so many forms of the final boss. But these are, like, pretty easy. Starting off. What's up, pet friend? Oh, this guy takes magic damage. Uh, we did this in the Middle Ages. Just because. This is where I spent most of my time, so I just picked the Middle Ages. I'm curious, once we beat the game, uh, I'm really curious to find out how many things affect the ending because like in my head I'm thinking like okay there's three different ways to kill Lavos there's also bringing Chrono back to life yes or no there's also killing Magus yes or no there's also what time period you kill him in which might affect something um, so like man there's gotta be so many endings if they actually go, you know, if they actually make that many endings, I don't know how many of those actually affect it. The song is so epic. God, the super muscular dinosaur. <laughs> What's up, Fox? You got yourself a bike? We'll talk about it after I beat the game, Nitro. Right now, I just want to finish the game without knowing more about it. I need lightning for this guy, right? Because it's a dinosaur. Yeah. Then I can hit him with the damage. Booyah! It's so cool, like, reliving all these boss gimmicks. Oh, it's Magus. I don't remember what he was like. I remember he was a hard battle, though. But I think he just took normal damage, didn't he? Uh, maybe not normal. That's right, he had, like, different element changes. I think I gotta go with like the opposite of what he uses on me. He's using ice, so I can't hit him with ice, but I could maybe hit him with lightning. I won't do that much, but nope, that healed him. So it probably has to be the exact element. Do I hit him with ice though, or fire? I feel like fire. Oh, yeah, I hit him with the element he uses. What the? His head came off. It's 
so this should work. Yeah, Magus is alive, guys. We did it. We brought him back to life. He's a lot uglier than I remember, though. What if I use Ice Sword? Will that, like, demolish him? Pretty good. Magus really let himself go. Holy cow! That one did way more damage for some reason. He's charging up for his big move. But we got him. Oh. The giant dinosaur. lightning on the dinosaur. Oh! He's throwing me around. It's really crazy, like, this fight's really easy, but it's cool that it, like, is making me relive all these fights. It feels like I'm reminiscing on the whole game again, you know? It's definitely unique. Never really fought anything like this before. I don't know how to hurt this guy. I thought you had to use lightning to open him up, but it's not really working. Removes defense and his storing power. Okay, that's that's how you do it. This might just kill him. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Yeah, look how far you've come. Well, for a game that's based on, like, time and stuff, it kind of fits, you know, looking back on all the stuff. Yeah, I wanted to make sure he was dead before he did that big attack. Sure do need to like bring some stuff on this though. I almost wish I would have bought stuff. I didn't think I would ever run out, given that I've pretty much saved most of my items throughout the entire game, but this is quite the marathon. Think of the 50 bits hope. I've never played a fantasy star game. A series I'd like to check out someday. Thank you for the resub. Chryso! Thanks so much, my man. Welcome back. You're actually the second person today to ask me about Fantasy Star. Revives head with defense parts. So I guess I have to kill the parts. Easy enough.
I said revives the head, but it only healed him like 250, and I did more than 250 damage, so I don't get how that worked. But whatever. Chrono's too fast anyways. If I just spam attack, he gonna die. Uh oh. Okay, that was different. I think he's... I think he's preparing his ultimate form here or something. Something's going down. So... Ow. Ow. Okay. He ain't messing around anymore. But neither am I. I got the damage. Oh, he steamed. It was like steam coming out of his head. I guess that was just the drill coming out, but it looked like steam. Uh, hold on. I need to cure. Oh. No! Why does this always happen? <laughs> Why does the one person I don't want to die always dies? That's the wrong person. Why would you... How could you do this? I was about to say, that's Marley, I'm gonna be real upset. I love how like she changes color when she does that attack. Wow, he's already down. Oh! Rip his head. Unbelievable! This lava, this Lavos's shell inside still strong. Ayla, no give up. Journeying into the beast. Wait, there's a portal. We're in pretty deep. Lavos's smell stronger. I need to save really quick because I just saw the uh, the screen flicker a little bit yeah the screen's flickering my Super Nintendo is uh, having issues I have to wait it out make sure it's not gonna reset I could just use a shelter, I guess. What does this do? Does this, like, take us out? What is going on? <laughs> yeah, it takes us here. So does this go back into Lavos' shell? That poor woman can finally rest now that the Black Omen is gone. She's reverted back to a human. Now it is time for you to access the gate contained within that bucket. You fight not just for yourselves, but for all living things. This is the battle between Lavos and the entire world. That's nice that you can come back and do stuff. I figured that would be like the... Uh, you know, save point of no return kind of thing. But, uh... They actually let you come back. That's really cool.
All right, looks like my SNES uh, stabled out, so. See ya, Chipper. Chrono, what do we do? Oh, do I have to fight him again? <laughs> and he's dead already. <laughs> Alright. Let's do the thing. That's Lavos. He's got like a face. This is Lavos. Hey, let's not give up. Oh God. Breast beams. Wow, this music. This song is incredible. Oh no, my SNES is flickering again. Don't you do this to me, SNES. I need you to I need you to hang in there for one more fight. You can do it. The fate of all humanity rests on you, SNES. Don't let me down. Oh man, it's got like the theme in there too. A little bit. God, this song is incredible. Okay, you don't really need to revive the main body because I'm not doing any damage to it. Disables defensive status. Well, I don't got none. Stop flickering. Stop it. Stop. Don't do this to me. It's only been four hours and you've been fine up to this point. I do no damage to the body. I feel like it's gotta do something to like open up or something. Nope, it's magic damage. Gotta give him the magic damage. You know what that means. Luminaire all day! Oh shoot! So apparently... Apparently when he used that ability on Marley, or on Ayla, it actually made it so she can get status ailments again, even though her equipment says she can't. He like broke my equipment. That's really interesting. It, I still take like no fire damage though, <laughs> so that it didn't get rid of that. Oh! I 
Ow! <laughs> that hurt. I'm keeping on the damage. At least he's not reviving his arms. I figured he'd revive them, but so far so good. Even before he revives his arms, like right now. She actually attacked him. Yes, you calm down this instant. I wonder if final kick will do any damage. Oh, oh my god, it's so much damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, god, he keeps increasing his power. The longer this goes on, the harder it's going to get. But I'm doing massive damage. He can't have that much health left. Oh god, did I kill him? Right as I say that? <laughs> right as I say that. It's humanoid. It seems like it has collected all of the vitality from the creatures who have lived on this planet. Are you saying it's the reason we're all here? Me no run. Ayla no run away. Worse than losing. This is Kronos and ours. Leans and Dones. Everyone. Oh my god, look at Chrono right now. He looks so epic. And I mean everyone's world. Ayla strong, Ayla and world good. You outsider, not part of planet's life. Oh my god. This song sounds even better. Uh, the aesthetic of this guy along with the background reminds me of Earthbound a lot. I've never played all the way through Earthbound but I've seen it a lot. Kind of looks like an Earthbound-y kind of kind of deal.
Uh, Luminaire still just gives all the damage. Just attack me with the moon. Wow, that hurt. Oh, I chose the wrong move on accident. I meant to do Falcon Hit. Because I want to kill that other thing. What is that in the background? That looks like the shrine from like way before. always time warping to like different areas. I wonder if that means anything. Or if it's just changing the background. No, he brought his thing back to life. I'll show you life. Oh god, healed. That's not what I wanted. This right thing will not die. It has so much health. Oh god, 3D polygonal graphics. He just attacked me with the N64. Oh my god, that did so much damage. Holy crap. And he just disabled defensive stuff off Marley. And Marley has 666 HP. What was that noise? This fight is, like, honestly terrifying. Like, seriously. It is actually scary. Kill that thing. I mean, they only heal a little bit, so it's not like the end of the world if I don't take them out, but I feel like it's going to be a lot better if I take them out. Oh, I got him! Level score is defended. What? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Wait! What is happening? Am I, am I getting Rick rolled? I gotta do magic damage to this thing. It has so much health. Okay, if I if I hit it with magic, then its defense goes down, I guess. Hit it with everything you got! It's gotta be dead. How is it not dead? How is it not dead? Bro, this right piece will not die. I don't even know what to do. How do I kill this thing? The right, seriously, the right piece is the final boss. The middle thing is just the debate. Is he singing? Why did he sing? Oh, we put Chrono to sleep! How could you do this to me? A nice smooch will wake him up.
That's the best way to get woken up. Lava Core shuts off defense? Does that mean I'm gonna wreck him? Defense down. Oh god. This thing again. I don't know why, but this right piece is just like the most... It has so much health. I think the right thing has like all the health, and the middle guy can revive the left guy, and the left guy does like all the bad stuff. Either that or like it's an actual puzzle. Oh god. Oh my god. That does so much damage. Bro, if it weren't for the freaking dress, that would probably just one shot my whole party. And I'm like over leveled. I did like all the side quests and stuff. But if I didn't have the freaking dress that gives me a ton of magic defense, I'm pretty sure that would have just annihilated me. I almost wonder if Time Warp has something to do with it, like I gotta kill him at certain times or something? But I don't know, because I'm definitely doing damage. I'm doing plenty of damage. Like, damage is not the issue. We time Warped again. Now we're in the jungle. You know, jungle. Active life decreases defense power. What does that mean? I, I don't know what that means. Thank you for the 50 bits, Hope. Uh, how do I donate the money for Trophy Quest? Uh, the same way as you are now, with bits. Or you can do PayPal as well. Whichever you prefer. Die! Oh my god! Now this thing- OH I KILLED HIM! I GOT IT! I don't know how, but I did it! That, that thing must have just had that much health. That right bit. The final boss was literally that right bit. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, fla Flashing lights. Warning. Too late. The warning was too late. I think I just had a seizure, and I don't even suffer from seizures. That was awful. Seriously. Chrono. Chrono! Chrono! It's time to rise and shine. We have a little surprise for you.
Okay, I gotta say, that was perfectly timed. Like, right when he opened up the... <laughs> We've been looking for you, Chrono. Where did you take my daughter? Daddy, don't! Chrono hasn't done a thing. She says Chrono has been a perfect gentleman, but... What do you think, Chancellor? Chrono's deeds have had an enormous impact on the kingdom. Chancellor, how could you? Please, just listen to me. We had to... Save the future, right? Huh? You saved the future and gave us hope. You fought Magus' troops and brought peace to the kingdom in the year 600. Chrono beat Reptites! Marley's like, uh, what? What's going on here? Luca, you brought them here, didn't you? Our kinsman told me all about your incredible mission. Kinsman? You mean these my these are my ancestors and descendants? Here I was fussing about my kingdom and my daughter, and you were saving past, present, and future. Now for a true victory parade. Tonight we celebrate you! Now Marley, go out and enjoy the last night of the fair. Come along with Chrono, our hero. Princess Nadia is finally home. At last, Guardia is back to normal. It's a moonlight parade! I heard that cat. There he is. Goblin's got a lot of balloons. <laughs> Melchior's there, for some reason. He's just hanging out. I love that balloon in the middle with like the, the weird shaped face. The weird shaped smiley face. It looks like he's seen some things. This is a very strange... Oh. I'm Marley now. What the... What's happening? Come on, have a sip. You're a hero today. Not much business in weapons anymore, but I like it that way. What's going on? The game is lagging. There's so much stuff. There's so many lights. thing on the ground. Everywhere I go, people are just exploding. Well, everyone, this is it. Each to thine time. The gate has grown weak. We've got to say our goodbyes before the gate closes. You're all leaving? Chrono was strong. Marley too. Ayla, have fun. You're my distant ancestor, so you'd better have tough kids or I'll be in trouble. Heh <laughs> no worry. Ayla, very strong. Right. Wait, did he just... <laughs> hey, what do you mean by that? Kino dummy, we go now. Tis a feisty crowd, but they are thine kin, and tis of consequence. Queen Len awaits, your majesty, we too shall take our leave.
Mr. Frog. Long farewells now were necessary. Right. Besides, actions speak louder than words. Yeah. Don't these things end with the princess kissing the frog? Frog's like, I'm out. <laughs> Chrono's like, what did I just witness? Luca, I will miss you. What's wrong, Luca? Aren't you going to say goodbye to Robo? She knows. Knows what? Robo was born in the bleak future. When we defeated Lavos, we changed history. Robo may not exist in the future. That's what I was thinking. Haha, -ha, please relax. The new future has a place for me. Darn it, Robo. Don't pretend you don't care when re you're really sad. It just makes things worse. Luca, you have taught me these emotions. Thank you. Tears don't become... Don't become you, Luca. Robo will be there in the new future. I like how that guy just peaced out. We didn't even say goodbye to him. He was like, I don't know. Good. Bye. Caution! Oil is washed over my sight sensors. Sight diminished. These games always get me when they make me feel emotional about, like, a robot that isn't even a person. Although, I mean, it, he has, like, actual emotions, so he's basically a person, almost. Do you remember that talk we had? You mean about whether our lives flash by before we die? Yeah, I get the feeling that the entity is finally at rest. Yes, I feel that, too. Time travel. How exhausting. We should dismantle the epoch. Its job is finished. <laughs> Perfect timing. La, la, la. We need a sad song for everybody leaving. You naughty thing! Come back here! Look, Chrono, your cat's been running away because you haven't been feeding it. Hey, come back here. Oh, great. Chrono, that gate will never open again. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, it looks like we have no choice but to go after them. Go after them, but the gates... Luca, don't turn off your brain yet. I forgot, we have a time machine. Yeah, ha ha. Oh, princess, the king asked for your presence. What? <laughs> I just watched my mom and my cat jump through a time portal and then, like, celebrated. This is the greatest game ever made. I'm so happy. Now there's no reason for you to go away anymore. Well, actually, we gotta go save Chrono's cat. I have a gift for you to commemorate this day, Princess Nadia. It's a brand new BMW. Or some balloons. Or a bell. This is Nadia's bell. It will ring across out across the land. Marley, where did you go? Could someone please lend me a hand? Daddy, I hate to say this, but I can't sit around doing nothing. Phew! Made it just in time. Shall I fire one off? Uh, no, Taban. Actually, I could really use your help. Did he just smack the sunstone and it made fireworks? What did I just watch? <laughs> oh my god. That was the weirdest ending to any game I've ever played. What? <laughs> just like all this epic 
everything that happened and then just like my mom went through a portal and here's a bell and fireworks the end <laughs> oh man that was funny breaking clouds think of 100 bits my man oh wow all right well that was Chrono Trigger. My thoughts? This game's incredible. Um, too bad I never played it as a kid because this might have been the game that got me into games just like Final Fantasy 7 did. If I had played this before Final Fantasy 7, maybe this would be my, you know, favorite game. Because it really is that good. Um, I totally get why people put it on so many lists of, like, best games and everything. Oh, That just made it better. Um... Everybody's in their time zones. Frog is... getting healed. It's interesting how... Uh, it's it's weird, like, I I feel like I need to play it again, because I get the story, but I, don't, I feel like there's parts that I'm missing. You know? Like, I still don't really get how Lavos came to be. I don't know if there's, like, an explanation as to why... Uh, why Lavos exists. It seems like time was normal and everything was fine and then somehow Lavos came to be and like that ruined everything and then by destroying Lavos everything went back to normal. But like part of that doesn't seem to make sense because Lavos doesn't come out until 1999 anyways so why was everything else screwed up? Because I guess because people were like because Lavos hit earlier, I guess. So that was the issue. Like, it hit way back when, and that, like, screwed everything up. Yeah, and then, like, he, he awakens in 1999, but he screws up everything else, too, because he lands in the distant past. But yeah, it's weird. I, th I feel like there's more to it than I got out of it. So I feel like if I play it again, I'll, I'll get a little more out of the story. Which is good. That's what I like about... I like when games give me the incentive to get more out of the story. I don't want to just understand everything my first time through. I want to understand the basic idea. But, uh... I don't want to, like, you know, have no incentive to play the game again. So, uh... Oh, we've played Xenogears before. We haven't beat it, but we played it for quite a bit, uh couple months ago and I'll probably do a let's play of it at some point so if you're <laughs> I I've had a lot of people ask me about Xenogears we will get to it um... the end is that it can I go I mean I, I know there's a new game plus so I should be able to go at some point. Yeah, people already spoiled New Game Plus for me because they have to spoil something, I guess. <laughs> so, that's the way that goes. Uh, it doesn't seem like I can get past this screen. Maybe the game automatically saved for me? Oh, now it's playing music. You need to save it? How? How do I save? I can't... I can't press any buttons. <laughs> I am pressing A. I'm pressing all the buttons! Yeah, I think I have to reset. Pretty sure. Pretty, pretty sure I gotta reset it. So let's do that real fast.
So let's see. Okay, so it's actually up here. So if I load this, it'll just put me where I'm at. Start using which data? Can, can I pick this data? Okay. So, starting off normal. So, is there anything different about New Game Plus, or is it literally just same game, starting over? get new endings. Yeah, I'll read your resub message. I'm kind of busy at the moment. <laughs> Trying to uh, finish off this Let's Play here. And figure out what everyone is saying in the chat. You can use the right telepod to go to Lavos directly. So, I'm level 52. I have all my tech. I have the rainbow. So, I win everything. So I, I have to do all this stuff before I uh, am allowed to go up to the teleporter. So is that it? Just the teleporter takes you to Lavos. Uh, and is there new endings or no? New endings depending on when you beat the game. Okay. Are enemies scaled, I'm guessing? They're not? So if I go fight Lavos right now, I could probably, like, beat him. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, on one hand, that's kind of lame, but on the other hand, I'm shocked that a SNES game even has New Game Plus, so I'm not going to complain. You know? <laughs> What do I have to do to get these guys to move? I don't remember. Just enter a shop menu. This guy has the shop menu, right? No cure does. still there. Other oh, shop, this one. Yeah. And then she wants some food. So, is this just like an easter egg or something? Because <laughs> it doesn't even look, I mean there is a little bit of a shine here. That's pretty weird. This almost feels like an easter egg or something. 
<laughs> That's so funny. Uh, just like, boom, Lavos. Have fun. And he's the same Lavos, so like, I could probably beat him. I mean, with two people it'd be tough. This doesn't have the other bosses either, so like... I should have like just gotten Lu Luca, and that's it. But I don't know if I could do it after getting Luca. I might only have to do it with Chrono and Marley. Yeah. I wonder what the ending would be like if you just beat him right now. That last... I mean, I think I could do it with Chrono and Marley. It's not like Ayla was much of a help anyways. She was the least useful one. It'd be tough, but I could probably do it. Because they were the two that I buffed the most throughout the whole game, so if anyone could do it, it'd be those two. I'm not going to try to beat the whole thing, but I kind of wanted to try to beat this just to see if I could go in a shell and like save the game. Just because I'm curious. Oh, you can let Marley get sucked in the past and then only use Chrono? What kind of ending would you get if you beat the game with just Chrono? <laughs> He just, he just kills him and then he's like, alright, and then just like fist pumps and then the game ends. <laughs> that would be the greatest ending. That's the ending I want. Chrono just kills, kills him, has no idea what that even means, and then just like fist pumps and then the credits roll. Best ending ever. So there you go. They didn't even, like, say anything. I'm not even sure they know what's going on. Oh, I don't get my save point. Where's my save point? I guess they didn't want to let you save here because it could totally ruin your file. <laughs> Man, that's cool. Alright. Well. I'm not gonna fight him now. Alright. We'll leave, we'll leave it with that. So, uh... That'll be the end of Chrono Trigger. I'm trying to think if I had any questions. Someone said there's like 14 different endings. Um, did we miss anything? Like, there isn't any, like, super bosses or anything, is there? Just the side quests? Yeah, I might sometime come back and do that. It's just really long, so I didn't want to do it now, but... Black Omen is the super boss? Yeah, that, that boss definitely seemed tougher than the final boss. Like that that face boss was really hard. If you hit the hands at all, the left hand drained your health to one and the right hand drained your magic to zero. There was no way to kill the arms and the face had quite a bit of health. The DS and Steam version have a super boss? That's interesting. Yeah, so uh, I think Earlier I said something about coming back to Chrono Trigger and doing New Game Plus. But I don't see any need to do New Game Plus. Other than to see other endings, the whole game is just going to be me smashing everything. So maybe as like a stream would be fun, but I don't think I'm going to do like a, a YouTube series on the New Game Plus. Um, but maybe what we'll do in the future is we'll do another Let's Play, full YouTube Let's Play of Chrono Trigger, and we'll do the DS version or the Steam version. And we'll do different characters, we'll do the Super Boss, we'll do the new cutscenes, um, and we'll do like a whole nother playthrough of it. Because I really enjoyed this playthrough, I think everyone else did as well. 
and uh, I think we'd like to see more more of Chrono Trigger. Um, I also have like different things I can do, like save Magus and uh, some of the different optional stuff I can do. So, uh, so yeah, I think we will do that. Not now, because we have a lot of other games to get to. Um, but at some point, we could come back and do that. That would be cool. So for anyone that's asking, like, can we get more? We will do more. Um, but for now, that's going to be the end of the Chrono Trigger Let's Play. Um, final thoughts. I loved this game. Um, I can see why people always rave about it. If I had played this as a kid, I would have thought it was just insane. <laughs> like, I would have never imagined a game being this, you know, this much. Because if I had played this as a kid, it would have been like this versus, like, Mario in ice hockey. Like, at the time, the most in-depth game I had played was Mario 3. So this game would have blown my mind. Um... Especially being on the Super Nintendo. Because at least with the PlayStation, I expected it to be a lot better than the, the NES. Because I knew I skipped over the SNES. Um, I didn't expect Final Fantasy VII to be as incredible as it was. But I expected it to be better than the NES. But this, the next step off the NES, I probably would have been like, Wow, it's probably slightly better. And then played this and would have been like... <laughs> mind blown. Um, so yeah, uh, I things I loved about this game, I love the animations, and I love the attention to detail. Um, but I think more than anything, I love the music. The sound design in this game is just incredible. Everything sounds great. The The swings of the swords sound great. The songs sound great. The places that they put the music is just stellar. Everything about the sound design in this game is awesome. Just really makes you experience the game so much better when the sound is so good. Um, the story was great, and honestly, I like the multiple endings, even though I said I usually don't like games with multiple endings as much. Um, I feel like in this game it fits, because everything's about what you choose, and everything's about time, and affecting things, and how it affects the future, and so having multiple endings kind of makes sense in the game like this. Um... I'm shocked that the game has a new game plus. It's like so cool. Even though it's not balanced or anything, it's just really cool that it has one and that there's actually extra stuff involved with it. Um, what else? Giant frog. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I have a lot to say, but I think I said most of it while we were playing. Um... I probably won't research the endings, actually, because if we're going to do another playthrough of it in the future, maybe I'll just keep myself blind to it and see what kind of ending we get next time. I don't know. I'll decide. I might... But between now and then, I might be like, ah, I want to look them up. But for now, <laughs> for now, I'll keep it... Keep it, uh... In the dark. Um... I guess that's all. The combat is really great and really fun and really feels like you have to press the buttons... You know, it, some RPGs get boring. This one doesn't feel boring. It still felt like I had to use the right abilities at the right time and keep an eye on my health. And there was, you know, I was really powerful, but still I had to pay attention or else I was going to lose. And that's, that's honestly impressive. Usually in RPGs, once you do all the side quests and you got all the strong stuff, you can just blow through everything. But you still have to pay attention. I mean, a lot of the bosses just put your health at one or do stuff... Uh, that final boss, the way he like removed my defenses and then like confused me was was really cool. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Overall, I loved it. And I loved playing it with you guys. So thank you so much for joining me for this Chrono Trigger Let's Play. Up next is a very, very special Final Fantasy VII themed playthrough. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it yet. But uh, you're definitely going to want to see it. It's uh, very, very special and very different than all the other Final Fantasy playthroughs we've done. Um, Final Fantasy VII playthroughs we've done. Um, so that will be next. And then after that, we might do Chrono Cross. Um, I'm tossing it up between Chrono Cross and some of the other things that we are thinking about doing. But for now, 
that's the end of Chrono Trigger. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Make sure to comment and tell me your favorite part of the playthrough, what you enjoyed the most. And we'll see you for the next playthrough. Final Fantasy VII, something special. And then after that, maybe, maybe Chrono Cross, maybe some of the other RPGs we've been wanting to play. I think I'm going to keep doing this. Final Fantasy VII, then a Let's Play. Final Fantasy VII, then a Let's Play. So if you enjoyed the Let's Plays, there will be one after the next Final Fantasy VII playthrough. Till then, I love you guys. Thanks again for the support. And we'll see you next time for more of whatever it is we're playing. Peace out.